Hi, my name is Spencer Williams. I'm a lifeguard EMT for Carlsbad Fire Department's lifeguard program. You might not be aware, but stingrays really enjoy the warm water months that make up the summer and spend a lot of time foraging for sand crabs in the shallow water near our shores here in Carlsbad. I'd like to spend a little time familiarizing you with the stingray population here in Southern California to help keep you safe while you're out enjoying our beautiful beaches. Like most animals, stingrays prefer not to be stepped on. However, if you do end up stepping on one, you can count on being stung. Stingrays have long whip-like tails with a barb located on the end. It's this barb that punctures the skin and secretes a venom into the wound. The venom is actually a protein that resides on the outside of the barb. One way to avoid stepping on a stingray is to do the stingray shuffle. As you enter the water, shuffle your feet along the sand. Some people like to slap the water in front of them with their hands or fins. The vibrations and sound of slapping has been shown to scare the stingrays away. If you do get stung, remember to stay calm and find the nearest lifeguard to help treat the wound. This usually includes controlling any bleeding and hot water submersion. The hot water helps neutralize the venom. Keep in mind, it may take up to three hours of hot water submersion to alleviate the pain. It's always a good idea to visit an urgent care afterwards for proper cleaning as the end of the bar may be stuck within the wound. In some cases, 911 may be called depending on the severity of the wound or if someone may be having an allergic reaction, which is rare. Remember, the best way to stay safe while enjoying our beautiful beaches is to stay informed and do the stingray shuffle.